All right, guys, we're, talking, we're back with another video. We're talking about New Jersey, and they look like they're reporting vehicles if you got loud music, or they're taking points out for your license or whatnot. I'm not really for sure the whole details of the thing, but uh, be sure to leave down in the comments if you know something about this issue. I don't know if it's just a, one specific area or whatnot, a neighborhood or however they're doing it, but let me know if you know the thing down, about it down below. We're going to get right on into the video. Boom Boom Party is now banned in the state of New Jersey. People that and let me know if a Boom Boom Party is a base meet or is it just something they calling it? But they calling it a Boom Boom Party. Uh, I had never heard of it. Uh, let me know. Lost music from speakers on their cars can now get hit with penalties under a newly signed law. Fox Eyes Teresa Priolo has reaction from those in the Garden State. We've all heard them. Anybody within 100 feet can hear them. We're talking about cars driving by with music so loud and a bass so strong it'll rattle your brain. She said it's so it'll rattle your brain. Well, that's what we get every time we go to the car audio show. It's rattling our brains every time. She said you can rattle your brain. Hmm. Here in Elizabeth, these cars are fairly common late at night. Now, acting governor Nicholas Scuteri is looking to penalize anybody who participates in these boom boom parties. Points on your license? Really? Yeah. That's serious. Lawmakers in New Jersey don't care how much you love music or how badly you want everyone else to know it. Black they don't want you to have any music. If you want to listen to it, you better listen to it at home from the sounds of it or have it real low. It from a stereo or subwoofer stacked in your car while riding around town and you're looking at a fine and points. The new law imposes fines beginning at $250 for the first offense. By the third, it's $1,000 and two points on your license. A lot of people. Uh, so they're giving you a few chances. The third one, you're going to pay 1000 I can't even remember the first few, but they said $1,000 on the third one and the points on your license. So if you spend $1,000, you can get a new sub, a good one. But, uh... We're gonna we're gonna go over to New York in just a minute because I I think that's where they at with the uh, repossession thing. But uh, we're gonna find out. People use music as an outlet to express themselves, and I personally don't see nothing wrong with it. What do you say to those people who say, "Okay, you can express yourself, but you're also impacting my quality of life"? <laughs> I think they should find something else to do. <laughs> <laughs> boom boom parties have been a problem for years. Now, uh, it's a difference between going to a neighborhood doing it because that looks like what's going on right here. Then again, they may not be, but uh, because the cars are kind of backed in, but it could be a neighborhood. They look like they're just in a neighborhood doing it. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes, you know, people overdo it. So that may be what's taking place right here. In Philly, they take over the streets. In Staten Island, they're complaining about the noise coming from Elizabeth. But folks here seem unbothered. Or if they are, they aren't letting on. Usually I just see cars passing by playing music. I really don't see them, like, stopped, you know, being really loud. What I like to ask is if it was music that those people preferred, would they have a problem with it then? No, they wouldn't. Because every time, you know, uh, if they don't like the music, that's when they start complaining. But had you been playing something like the favorite, you know, gospel or rap or blues or country music or reggae, whatever it is, it may be, I guarantee they wouldn't even have a problem with it. But uh, it's probably a selection of music that they listen that you're listening to, not probably 95 percent. But uh, y'all, let me know down in the comments. The original bill would have called for these cars to be impounded and, in certain circumstances, destroyed. The final bill eliminates those penalties. It takes effect immediately. In Elizabeth, New Jersey, Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News. There's one simple vision. All right, guys, y'all let me know what y'all believe down in the comments down below. If you're from this area, be sure to leave some comments. Or let me know about the area where you live and um, what's going on and how serious it is on the fines and the uh, repossessions or whatever's going on with the music law. Uh, be sure to subscribe basichev.com. Be sure to share the videos. Uh, be sure to use the comments in the description down below. And uh, of course, I'll see y'all back on the next one.